you can add to any post, any page or any landing page. Here we have a test page with some content on it to demonstrate how this thing works. And you'll see that in the elements list here, you can now find one called widgets. And right now there's just one item available here, which is the custom menu item. So I will drop that onto the canvas to see what it does. What you can see on the page here is a navigation menu. So it's quite similar to the one we have at the top of the page here. And if I click on this to see some options, here's what we get. So you have the usual options such as setting margin and padding, color options and so on and font size options, alignment options, and so on. In addition to that, a very important option here is the one right next to the color choice. As you can see, this says main menu here, and it gives me a choice of additional menus. And what this does is it simply, this defines which menu you wanna show here. So if I change this, it will change the links. And these are WordPress menus. So if I click on this edit menu button here, it will open a new tab and it will open my WordPress menu editor, which is by the way, in your WordPress admin dashboard, it's under appearance and menus. In other words, what this element does is it gets the list of menus that you've already created in WordPress and makes them available for you to place inside your content. So if you wanna add a new custom menu or you wanna make a change to one of these menus, you do it in appearance menus in WordPress admin and be aware that anywhere else where you're displaying this menu, the same changes will apply, okay? So if you want to create a new menu to show somewhere in your content, you should create a new one instead of editing an existing one, which will have effects elsewhere on your page or on your site as well. Also note that there are two ways in which you can display this menu. And by default, it will show a horizontal menu. One thing you need to know about this, if I save the changes and look at the preview, you will see that this actually supports drop downs as well and multiple levels of drop downs at that. But the drop downs are only visible in the actual preview or in the published page and not in the editing mode. This is for technical reasons, there's no other way to do that. So, this is one of the few instances where if you change colors, such as for the drop down items, if you change the colors there, you will actually have to preview that to see the changes applied. So if you create a horizontal menu, you have drop downs for sub menu items and you can also change that to a vertical layout, in which case you have a nested list. Now, another thing we can do here is we can change the font size. This will affect the entire menu, meaning everything, uh, all the items in the menu will change the font size. You can also apply custom fonts. So if you've created custom fonts, you can select them here and it will simply load the font. So if you, you're using one of our themes, if you set a, a font size and font color, that will not be applied. But you can obviously, as I just showed, you can change the font size here, you can change the color here for the individual menu. And also note that if you choose a left or right alignment, it will actually wrap, the content will wrap around your menu. Okay, so you can basically have, um, a menu on the side with the content on the side like this, if that's what you want. And that makes sense. That makes more sense for the vertical menu. The same applies to the horizontal menu here. The text wrapping, well, probably doesn't make that much sense, but then you can always go either none or center aligned 